Our process is now successfully deployed. So our execution history displays in the Manage Process Reporting tab. Let's discuss some of the key features. This view defaults to executions launched in the past hour across all atoms. Filters can set and a new search performed to see all of the results. Execution records can be highlighted to display document activity. So this is a table-like view of everything included, so inbound and outbound files. You can manually play or execute the deployed processes in a specific atom. The execution view captures some key processing statistics. So you can click on the filter links to sort by execution status. You can page through sets of 25 execution records. You can view high-level process logs to see the state of each step kicked off for all the documents in the workflow. And you can double click on the last column to view details of the first error message returned, if any. So the first error message refers to the connectivity errors in the start shape or the first error that occurs against your inbound document set. The execution actions are exposed in the gear button dropdown per each execution thread and are important for advanced control and debugging. So you can view the process, which opens the process on the Build tab. You can view deployment components. So you can view and open component versions on the Build tab. You can view process state. So view real-time information about step execution and duration. You can view the extended information. So you're going to need admin privileges for this, but with it, you're going to be able to view the execution, the process, atom and deployment IDs, and have the ability to download execution artifacts. And you can also cancel the process execution. So you'll terminate the process in the pending state. The execution view has a hyperlink timestamp for each execution thread. Clicking on this timestamp causes the document detail view to slide in from the right. The document detail view has a header detail for the instance, including the process name, timestamp, elapsed time, documents in and out, atom name, and execution type, endpoint connector details, as well as successful and error documents. Clicking on one document link the, like the one here for successful documents from the start shape opens a more detailed document pane. This displays the process documents. So documents are filtered by type, all errors or successes. The ability to rerun documents either in production or test mode, the build, is accompanied by a single click of a button. Document details including the document name, size, and if encountered error messages are displayed. You can navigate between the various endpoint documents throughout the process execution. And next to each document, there's an actions gear icon. Clicking the actions gear allows you to view the document logs, view document in the document viewer. You can rerun the document. You can run the document in test mode, or you could view the linked documents. Finally, we can click on the execution view to return to the process reporting window. So we're going to do exercises five and six together. So we're going to track live executions and process reporting and review live document information. So again, exercise five is live executions and process reporting. Exercise six, we're going to review live document information. Again, just to cover what we're doing, process reporting is a search console for accessing information about executed processes. So we're going to review statistics about the execution to see how documents have succeeded, failed, and or reacted against connectors and process shapes in a lapsed time frame. So in this exercise, we're gonna review some key information about the latest executions for our process prospect tracking. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the Manage tab, and we're gonna go up to Process Reporting. By clicking on Process Reporting, we're gonna see all of the executions that have happened since we have put our process onto a schedule. You may need to manually refresh by the refresh button at the top here to be able to see the most recent update for yours. You can also turn auto refresh on in the upper right, which will refresh every minute for you. So next, if we wanted to click on the gear like icon, we could view our deployment components here and we could see all of the different components that make up this prospect tracking. So you can see the operations, the profiles, the maps, the processes, the functions, the connections. So in this case, if we wanted to view specifically like our Salesforce account to database insert, we could view the individual component. And if we click on the pencil over the paper button, it's going to pop up in a new window for us. We're going to view that specific component in a new window. So I'm just going to exit out of there. Another thing we can look at is the revision history. So we can look at what version each one of these are. So how many times have we done prospect tracking the process? How many times have we executed? How many times have we executed the Salesforce account to database insert? 
Now if I cancel out of there and I go and view the process logs, we'll be able to see how the process executed through each shape. So that completes exercise five, tracking live execution and process reporting. So now we're gonna review some of the live document information. So this is exercise six. One of the things we can do is we can click on the timestamp over here. So if we clip, click on the hyperlink timestamp, you can view details about that process execution. What we can see is we can see the number of successes and we can see the number of errors for it. So in this case, we had two successes and we could view the individual log or the document itself for each one of those successes. So for example, if we highlighted document one and we wanted to look at the document viewer and the document log for it and view the data as it appeared through You'll see additional options here as well. We could rerun documents. We could also rerun documents in test mode. All right, that completes exercises five and six, tracking live executions and process reporting and viewing live document information.